Number 14. Tripling the concentration of a reactant increases the rate of a reaction ninefold. With this knowledge, answer the following questions. And then we have letter A. What is the order of the reaction with respect to that reactant? Okay, so we're going to focus on letter A, and then once we answer that question, we will go to letter B. Now, the, the main thing that they're asking for here is what is the order? Now, we're talking about rates, right? We're in the rate law chapter, and you can always find an order from the usage of a rate law. But the question is, well, what is a rate law? Is it a, a formula? What is it? Well, it's a general formula. And the formula for a rate law is this right here. A rate law is your rate of reaction. So this rate is rate of reaction. Is equal to the k value, lowercase k, which is the rate constant. For every given reaction, there is its own unique rate constant. For that specific reaction, the constant value obviously stays constant, stays the same. So the rate of reaction equals that constant value times the concentration, brackets, of the reactants raised to the orders. So this is what we're looking for. We want to find these exponents. So now, the only thing that they told us was basically that if you triple the concentration of a reactant, it will increase the rate by ninefold. So from this information, maybe I'll write down letter A here. It says that we are tripling. So we got a tripling of the actual reactant. And because of that, that will increase uh, the rate by ninefold. Now, ninefold is, I guess, a fancier way of saying by nine times. And if it's nine times, right, it's literally nine times is multiplication. So we're increasing up, you know, by a form, uh, by a factor of nine times. So we do have a number for our rate, right? And when you're doing these, um, you're tripling, you're doubling, you're increasing, you could use your change values, the doubling, the tripling, you know, increasing by nine, in your rate reactant, or re uh, rate reaction. So, in this case, if we're increasing that rate by nine, I have a number for the rate value. I'm going to plug in a nine for the rate. Now, tripling the reactant. Well, they didn't really give me a number here, but maybe there's a number that goes with the word tripling. If you triple something, right, that means that you're going up by three times. That's right. So anytime that you think about tripling, you always think of three times. And there is the number. So we know that for our reactant, we're going to plug in a three. So we got a reactant number, check. We got a rate number, check. We're searching for the order. Now the idea here is, well, what about this K value? Well, keep in mind that for a given reactant, the constant value will never change. So it does not matter if we are changing the reactants, this K value is not going to do anything. So as far as changing, the rate constant is going to stay the same. So when we're doing this type of idea with doubling and tripling and quadrupling, et cetera, et cetera, you can pretend that the K value isn't there because no matter what you do, it's going to be the same number. So now I kind of just, you know, bring it down to rate equals just the reactants raised to the order. And let's see. The rate number we said was 9, so 9 equals... The reactant value was 3, and we're trying to find that x value. So 3 to the what will get me 9? Remember, if you have an exponent, that means that you're taking your number and timesing it by itself x amount of times to get to 9. Well, let's see. 3 times 3. Oh, 3 times 3 is 9. And how many 3s did I use? Yeah, I used 2 of them. So my x value would equal 2. 
and this is the order. Since we found that exponent, we found the order, the order is a 2. This is called second order. So we can say that we either have an order of 2 or we can say that it's second order with respect to this specific reactant. And now we do the whole thing again for letter B. So for letter B it says if we're increasing the concentration of a reactant by a factor of 4, increases the rate of reaction fourfold. What is that order of the reaction with respect to that reactant? Okay, so let's see. Uh, for the reactant, we are increasing by a factor of 4. So factor of 4, kind of like 9-fold, right? This is all saying by a certain number. So if you're increasing by a factor of 4, you're increasing by 4 times. So for my reactant, if you are increasing by a factor of 4, the number is 4. So I know that my reactant value is going to be a 4. And because I'm increasing by 4, it increases the rate fourfold. Here's that number again by 4 times. So we know that that number is number lucky 4. So it increases my rate by fourfold. So we take that number, the rate is going to be equal to 4. We have the rate value, check. We have the reactant number, check. No one cares about the rate constant for these, and we're just going to solve for the order. So 4 equals 4 raised to the x. 4 to the what will get me 4? You got it. x equals 1. And maybe what I'll do is, there we go. So we can say that the order for this reactant is a 1. And we call that first order. Now, if we notice, for a single reactant, or a single reaction, you can have different orders for different reactants. That's totally fine. So sometimes one reactant will be raised to the second, uh, the second order, and sometimes another reactant will be raised to the first, first order. So we're all good here. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Thank you for coming here and checking out the video. I hope this helped you in your chem, your chem studies. Uh, stick with the videos. Chemistry may get easier over time. And I'm here with you guys every step of the way. Thank you so much for coming here. And thanks for being part of the community. Um, check the links in the description for some goodies that we got for you. My brother and I, we really are working hard uh, for you guys to make sure that this channel and this community, you know, is, is built up just for you guys. So thank you so, so much. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.